Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make one of those lollipop holders. So it's gonna look similar to this. Um, I mean, you can pretty much do any design. So what's cool about this is you can kind of see, I like having this rectangular piece across down here because then it's really stable. And I don't think that it gets in the way of like, like for it to look, if you think it looks weird or whatever. Um, I think it's actually perfectly fine. Um, and size wise, I think you have a lot of playing room. So this special request is for Kayla, so cute. She follows me on Instagram and she's running for homecoming queen. So of course we gotta help out. So her little theme is stars. I mean, I feel like you can pretty much do this with anything, whether it's a star, a heart, um, I don't know, whatever your mascot is. Um, you can even do maybe a letter. Oh, that would be cute too if we did like a K. No, K wouldn't be good because yeah, we gotta think about this. She might look like, it might look like she has a belly, but you know, we need a circle, like a hole right here to stick the lollipop through. And then down here, the hole goes through here. So let's talk about how we do this. So I definitely think this is a humongous, okay, so first of all, oh, the other thing is because it's paper, um, she was thinking about doing some sort of like print and cut or maybe printing like Kayla on there. My only issue is that's gonna take a long time. Anytime that the Cricut writes, it takes forever. Um, and I don't like the idea of print and cut because it just takes a long time as well for it to print and then you gotta go and have it cut. So what I like is I, I truly, I mean, gosh, you guys must know this by now. I love using HTV on this because here's why. You can cut thinner things because it sticks to that transfer paper, right? That carrier paper on top. So I cut Kayla right there like this um, and it cut fine. So you just have to weed it, right? You can do things while it's, while it's cutting. And then um, while it's cutting, you could be folding some of these, assembling, um, but it takes like two seconds to iron it on. So I have my mini, which, <laughs> give me a second, it's stuck in my drawer, um, the cord is. See, I don't even bother take, putting it away from my desk. It's always like even plugged in. Um, it literally, you put it down, you swing once, twice, and it's enough heat for it to stick to the thing. So, um, and if you've seen me do the gift gift tags as well, I ironed on a hunt, the order was for 150, I think, gift cards. And that was the easiest part of the process, was just ironing onto the paper. So, let's get started. Um, so the star, first thing is just go to your shapes. And like I was saying earlier, I think the whole of the lollipop, that's also gonna depend on the lollipop that you have. Like you have the gourmet treats all the way down to like the little dum-dum ones. So you're gonna have to play with this. What I would recommend is create your first one, cut it out and see like, do you wanna go smaller? Um, or maybe don't go smaller with the star, but go smaller with the whole, because then you have a lot of playing room for like what you wanna write or Plus this size is kind of cute, like everyone holding a star. I feel like you can see it from a distance on campus and everyone knows it's from you. It's, it's pretty unique. So, okay, let's look at this overall size though. So you can see this thing is, oh, you know what? I made it 11 and a half inches because it's 12.2. I obviously, I wanna cut it on, um, 12 by 12 cardstock. So that's the other thing too, is how many lollipops do you want to cut? How many lollipop holders do you wanna cut on one sheet of paper? If it was this, let's just look really quick. Let's go to make it. So there's a lot of playing room, um, but I'm just gonna show you how to design it. So let's just do like five of these and see what it looks like. Oh, they don't even put it on one? Hold on. That's crazy town. Let's bring, click on this, click on the three dots, move object. Let's move it onto one. I think we should at least cut two 
on one. If we can't cut two on one, we really need to resize it. Okay. Oh yeah, it doesn't fit. Okay, there's no way we're cutting one lollipop on one paper. So let's definitely make this smaller. Okay, so this means, let me put the star over so that we can have a feel for how big the star is. So this would give you like four and a half inches. So this one right here is one, two, three, four, five, five and a half inches star. I mean, look how big it is to my face. Um, this one will be a little bit smaller, but it will get you two per page, which is, a. I mean, it's, you're going to be cutting a lot. So there's that. Or you can make them really small and maybe fit at least three to a page. But again, those are all options that you have. So this is how you create it. Let's, let's start with that. So you have your star, and what you wanna do is you wanna get a circle. What, let's make this star a different color so we can kinda of see the difference between the colors. Okay, so and bring, arrange, bring your circle to the front. Okay, so this circle is about 1.2 inches. Maybe start out doing one inch. Um, Okay, then what you want to do is you want to grab your two items and you want to align and center so it's right, that's the center. I feel like we can put this a little bit lower, maybe like this, because I kind of want the name to go up here. Okay, so if we like this, then let's slice it out. So here's our piece. And let's just move this to the side. Okay, let's bring in our rectangle. Our rectangle is this little sliver down here. I like this, so originally I was just gonna connect the, the stars. I was actually going to, let me duplicate this. I was thinking of kind of making this the, the part that's going to attach with a little hole here for it to go through but I also I just don't want this to be so delicate that you're going to have a problem folding or you, when it's like this you don't even need to fold it you just push up the two stars stick your lollipop in and you're done you don't even need to worry about um, doing anything with this rectangular piece so I really like this design so here is this piece right go to shapes Bring in your square, and the smaller circle should probably be about 0.25, between 0.25 and 0.3, I think that would work. So let's unlock this thing, and you wanna size it so that it's sort of like, it's touching your two, you know, you want this to be stable. So we've got it here, so it's attached to the you know, to the star, and then you can take this, well, I guess we can do this first. Let's make that lighter so we can see it. And then let's um, arrange, send to the front. Let's put it over here and let's grab our two pieces and center that. Align, we wanna center it. Okay, so it's centered and then slice. And then we can remove everything. Okay, so we have our little piece here. It's attached there. Then the star, I would just duplicate and flip vertically. And so then I can do this to make sure I had the Oh, you know what? Okay, I had the two stars touching originally in the des design, so I would bring this down, maybe make this, the little square a little bit smaller. Oops, hold on. We need the hole to align with this because the lollipop's gonna go here, the stick's gonna go through and go through this thing. 
So let's do something like this. So it's touching at the tips. It's touching the rectangle, which is what you want because this is, this is how it looks. And it's so sturdy and stable. That's what I like. I don't like anything too delicate because if you're going to be mass producing this and handing out to kids and they're going to be walking around with it, you don't want things to fall apart. So this is a good design because you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six touching points. So if one rips, you still have five other ones to, to count on. Okay, so now you have your star. Grab everything and weld it. So here's your piece. And then it's so easy. You stick your lollipop in and maybe do double-sided tape right here and you're done. Okay, so let's talk about this a little bit more though. Let's say you do this, you like the size of it, but the but the circle is too big, right? So what you want to do then is if the circle's too big, then let's think about this. You're going to want to get two circles like this. Okay. Grab these two circles, um, align and center, and you want to weld it, I mean slice it out. Because you want to create, you, you still need that hole in the middle, right? But you're creating this. So that you can make this smaller and that way you can weld this and that's how you make the hole smaller so if you let's say you like this size you're going to duplicate both and you're going to put it down here and then you weld the whole thing so you just made your circle smaller if you need even smaller then make this smaller right you can keep adjusting at uh, um, that way um, all right now the name so there's a couple cute things that you can do with a circle if you were to write the name all the way around um, I would you know like Kayla and then Tran then I would move the circle up a little bit higher the way I designed this is so that you can put the name in the front hold on um, arrange send to the front okay Now, your name is killer, Kayla, because you have a lot to weed. You have all the little parts of the A's, the loop and the L and the Y <laughs> and the R. So maybe you don't want to do cursive. I don't know. Maybe you want to do um, uppercase. So like, let's say you do... Um, let's just do a normal font that we see all the time. Um, okay. So let's type out your name. And, you know, you want to do caps because with doing caps, you get rid of the loop and the Y. Well, I guess you wouldn't have that if you were printing. But I think caps will look better. So let's see. So here we go, we've got this. We wanna make it smaller. You want to, do we, can we bold it? Let's bold it so it's a little bit thicker. And then let's go to curve and see what we can do. Um, okay. Mm, that's a little hard to read, huh? Okay, so what you can do is you can make sure that there's space in between the name. That's a little bit easier, and then you can put little stars right here as well. So you could do something like this. Um, if you like, she said she liked this font. So this font is called Southmore and I will show you right now. Okay, so it's on Creative Fabrica. 
I love this font in general because, like I was saying earlier, it cuts and weeds beautifully. So if you can see how small this is, I had no issues weeding this, so. Okay, so it's sophomore script right here, and I will link it in my YouTube account because I do get credit for any time that you use my link, so that would be awesome. If you end up, so I have a membership because I love the amount of fonts and images that are on here. So if you choose to go for a membership, please still use my link, um, but you can also use my code. So it's the useless crafter 30 all together. It's 30% of your membership every month. So for as long as you have it and as long as you pay for it, it's 30% off. So that's super cool too. So anyway, so this is Southmore script. Um, and while I'm here, you really should use font cloud. This tool is free, so you don't have to buy anything, but you can upload any font that you have. It's a font manager. So I have a video on that. Seriously, if you don't, you need it. You need it if you don't use it. Um, and you can watch the video and it will explain why it's so wonderful. Okay, so here is this one, but I was thinking, what if we did, we can do a heart as well. I, I don't think that a heart was her thing, but I want kind of want to show you what that would look like. So, and I haven't done it. So this is on the fly. We're going to see what makes sense. Okay. And I hate their heart. I always unlock it and I like my hearts like squishier. Okay. Like that. <laughs> um, all right. So let's see, we're going to arrange them to the front. Okay. So on a heart, because it has a tip like this, I would probably do like a little square right here because I, I don't want it to be so delicate where it's just this little piece, but I would do something like this. Have my little hole there and then have my heart on the other side. So this is what I would do. I would take these two items and align center. So it's there and then you could probably put your name. Oh, you could put it here, Kayla Tran. That would be cute. So let's slice out our circle. Oops, hold on, let's move this one out. Okay, so we've got this guy here and you can make it really sturdy by doing like that. If you, when it's just the tip like barely touching, that's gonna make it less stable, right? I would probably do something like this where it just feels like it's more part of it. Okay, so duplicate this heart and then go to flip and flip vertically and then add it here. And then I would align all of this. I would align and center. Is this what I want? Yeah. So now it's all centered. This hole, this hole. Okay. And then you want to weld it together. So here's your heart. And then you got to bring in your, your little circle. arrange them to the front so we can see what it looks like and you're going to want to slice out that little circle and again on here i would center it um align center and then slice out so now you have a heart lollipop holder as well as a star so I mean this is sort of like um, a keychain you know like when you you do the top letter and then you fold, it folds on itself so it's very similar you just want to make sure that everything lines up so you want to duplicate once you create your your little opening and I think that's it I don't know what else you might need but you know, post your comments here and let me know if you want to see another shape and the, like animals. Animals are cute because you, you know, you can always put it where the nose is. 
And the popular one that you see for this during Christmas time, of course, is Rudolph, right? With the red nose right here, it's perfect. Um, but kind of, you know, think like that. Or in this case, I mean the star and the heart, that's not not very obvious, but it's cute. Her theme is a star. So I think this is gonna stand out with everyone holding it. If you wanna know where to buy the paper, so this I bought in a pad. It's $20 for a you know big 12 by 12 pad, but I waited till it was on sale, so I got it for $5. That's when you should really stock up. <laughs> I know. So next time there's a sale, stock up so that you can do projects like this and it's not a big deal. This particular paper has little stars on it as well. So it's super cute. It's so perfect. Um, all right. Let me know if you have a special request, just like Kayla and Kayla. Good luck. I hope you win. All right. Bye guys.